Are you kidding me? Cloudy with the chance of meatballs too. I got nothing. I got nothing. So I wasn't a fan of the first Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs movie. I mean, this movie, it, it's just, the first one wasn't that bad, and I just, I didn't hate the movie. It just, I didn't like it. I, I wasn't a fan, but I didn't hate the movie as it is. Then it just, it made an extreme amount of money. People loved the movie. I don't even know why. It's a really generic kids flick that doesn't have any humor that anyone under five will enjoy and then they had to go along and make a sequel to all that jazz please do not do not make money in the box office because i really don't want to see a threequel to this and the funny thing is the really it's not the fact that this movie has the most cliched awkward dialogue I think I've ever heard in a computer animated movie. It's not the fact that the CGI looks like crap. It's not the fact that the entire story is just, it's, it's bullcrap. It is the fact that this isn't the worst computer animated movie of the year. Psst. Ew, you disgust me. This movie just infuriated me. And for a computer animated movie, the movie is not funny, it's not heartful. They try to push the heartfeltness of the movie, and the movie just is stupid. Let me explain the story to you, and like, if you can keep- I'm gonna try to explain the story to you, and keep a straight face. It'll be really hard. So, they go to this island, the people in the first class of a chance of meatballs, and then they realize that the food that fell to the ground, and fell to the island, is alive. And the junk food can talk and walk and they act like animals. <laughs> sitting through this movie was like was like sitting through Escape from Planet Earth, but like not as awful, like horrid as Escape from Planet Earth. Like it wasn't that bad. It is a really generic kids movie. Nothing is original in the movie. It's it's stupid as heck. None of the characters you care about. It's a complete kids movie. It doesn't teach any nice lessons. There's just really, really stupid uh people that are like trying to be like other people. Like this one cop, he really, really thinks he's like an MMA wrestler. Like he's like the guy's like no no tear, this tear goes back. He thinks he's the rock. Like, are you serious? Uh, oh, this movie. Claddy with a chance of meatballs too crap. I don't think I've really ranted about a computer animated movie this much since like Escape from Planet Earth. I know I mentioned that a lot in this video because that movie just I can compare this to that movie because this movie has all the elements that came from Escape from Planet Earth. It's just a lazy kids movie. That's what Escape from Planet Earth was, except for Escape from Planet Earth was a whole lot annoying more annoying than this. But Cloudy with the Chains of Meatballs too, you are just way up there. And this was apparently based on a book. I read that book like twice when I was a kid and I I remember enjoying the book. It's like it's like the story of like a grandpa that like is reading a tale to their kid to um his grandchildren about like an actual town that got food they just fell on uh their island and then they had to move to a different island and like sail on like pieces of bread and stuff like that and it was just an enjoyable kids book. What does a like an uh, animal like junk food have anything to do with that? It's just the movie was ridiculous. I. I didn't like this movie whatsoever. I couldn't stand this movie. This movie annoyed the crap out of me. As bad as Escape from Planet Earth, not quite. Not quite, but it's just really close. I'm probably like the only people, person like that really, really hated this movie. It is an enjoyable family movie. If, you, if you're like five years old, you can watch this movie and have fun with the movie. Like anyone older than that will just despise, will... How about, how about, I'll, I'll set their age range to seven, because I think anyone older than that with like, you know, like a functional brain that's like smarter than like, than like seven year olds will like know like that the humor is not funny, but like, for seven and under, this is the movie for you, so go waste your money and see this. But there's like other movies to see that are like on Netflix, like check out Toy Story 3 or or or, or, uh, or Hercules or it's just Disney or Pixar movies, just not this crap. For my final verdict, I'm going to give it, I gotta give it a 3 out of 10. I hated the movie. The movie was abysmal, but it's not as bad as Scaven Planet Earth, which I gave a just one out of ten. This is an awful movie. Do not see it. Don't waste your money on this crap. Just please, I beg of you, don't see this. 
My Kings of Summer review will be coming up too. I know it's a really late review, but like I just rented the movie and I'm glad I did. I'll explain why I like love that movie so much, but like it's just it would take note that this is one of my favorite movies of the year. Not not this. Just don't watch this. Just go watch Kings of Summer. So this is Pigalink signing off.